Um, I'm, I'm here to return something from Amazon. How are you? Good, how are you? Okay, I appreciate it. Um, do you know if uh, Fred still works here? Um, he's actually not here. Uh, he transferred to Tyson's, right? Cool. Fred. Yeah. Uh, okay, do you yeah, know why he transferred it. by any chance? Yeah. Sure, but... Do you know what? Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Do, you know, do you know the reason why he transferred Who? Cool. Fred? Fred, yeah. He's a store at the hotel, so they have to move every two years. Uh okay. Do you know him? Uh, kind of. Um, was it like just after December, like around January that he? Honestly, I'm not sure. Right. right around that time. That's interesting. No, I'm just wondering because um, I came in here back in December, um, and uh, he was harassing me because I wasn't wearing a mask, and he even called the cops on me. So I, I was just curious, like, if anything happened to him because it was really messed up what he did and. I was hoping maybe he would get fired over that because it's not right to treat somebody that way. So. I don't know what happened, but. Yeah. Oh, well, maybe that's why I transferred. Who knows? But yeah, I don't. I don't think that's the reason. They transfer every two years. They don't. Like, okay. A different experience always. Okay, yeah, because I, I just don't wear masks. I don't take any um, jabs in the arm or anything with uh, experimental things. So, I don't know, I just thought it was uh, really messed up what he did. But, I mean, it was just like a requirement at some point. Yeah, like, yeah, I know. Too, so. But it's yeah. just not right to treat somebody like that and deny them from getting food. So, yeah. No big deal, though. I don't, I don't wish him any harm or anything like that. It's just, you know, I, I like to see when somebody makes a mistake, I like to see them held accountable for it. So, you know. Did you so. talk to someone regarding that? Um, I mean, I left a review, but I mean, I, I really don't think it would do any good trying to talk to somebody about that because um, when they had the cops here, they were trying to tell me that I should call corporate to get like an exemption or something because they were offering the online shopping. But my argument to that was I, I want to be able to pick out my own produce and, you know, not have somebody else do it for me. Because I mean, they're supposed to treat everyone equally, but in a way they're kind of segregating people based on their perceived fear of uh, something they might have in their bodies or not. And there's really no way to prove that, so. It's not about the experience, yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, I, I just wanted to check in on that because I, I haven't come back here since then just because I, I don't want to be treated that way, but I saw you guys updated your policy to make it so you're not going to harass people anymore if they're not wearing a mask. So. Yeah, it's just that we, um, yeah. you know, it's always a requirement, so we always had people standing in okay. <clears throat> everyone was doing that. But, yeah, okay, yeah, I get it, you're just doing your job. Yeah, I guess it's just something to think about, like, beyond what the policy is. Think about it from a human point of view, of how you're treating somebody. I'm not saying you're doing it personally, but just uh, how other people have reacted to this whole thing. It's just, you know... Yeah. Okay, well, yeah, it's fine. Um, so, I, you know, I just wish you a good day. Interesting. So he transferred shortly after that incident. Uh, well... There you go. Finally went back to Whole Foods, but they did update their policy on the website to say that if you're back, if you uh, if you took something in the arm, 
then you can go in without a face covering, face diaper. So, I'm actually parked over here, I think. Um, yeah, so that was, uh, you know, interesting, but, you know, I had to return something that I got from Amazon that I didn't need, so, whatever. Alright, thanks for watching, guys. Peace.